Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God Graças bless you. Deus. Thank God. Welcome ao programa, to the Life Change Today program. Thank you so much for being there. May God bless you immensely. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, your family, with great favor, with joy. Believe that the hand of the Lord is powerful. Believe and fear His name. Draw near to Him every day with more strength, with confidence, because His faithfulness is eternal. Don't fear anything. Don't look to the right, to left. Don't look back. Look only at Him and move forward. The year is new. Happy New Year to you. Make wise decisions and live the best year of your life. Because if you believe, you will have the best year of your life so far. God loves you. Did you say it today? You need it. God loves you. You are son, daughter. You are loved. You were made in God's image and likeness. And you received power to be a fruitful person, fertile person. Live for today. Be grateful and serve. Every day, list at least 10 reasons why you are grateful. It increases your vision, your countenance about everything God is doing. In Jesus' name. And look, Sunday. Sunday will kick off with my conquest project for 2024, year of Joshua's anointing. And look, my dear, I am very confident, very excited. I know that we are in a new time. It's everything new. The year is new. The word is incredible. The book of Joshua is a book of conquests. Read the book of Joshua if you didn't read it yet, and you will be impacted. It's victories and victories and victories and victories. They are so many that we are surprised, surprised, surprised with incredible happenings, supernatural. God didn't change. And He gave us this word, and it's prophetic. They were living the promise of a lifetime. Because it started there with Abraham. How many times, how many generations waited for that moment? That's why I believe. How I believe, I believe with all my heart that we are going to live promises of a lifetime. Things that we have been waiting for a whole life. Will we have our challenges? Obviously. It's obvious. But we already fight with the victory. We are sure about the victory. Make decisions in Jesus' name. As I just said, don't look to any side. Don't stop to listen strange voices. Listen to God. Believe in the Word of God. Don't go to the same direction the world is going, that the wicked is going. Don't fear bad news. 
get involved with God, with God things, with the Word of God. Align yourself with God. Don't live like Martha, running back and forth. Live as Mary. One thing matters. Dedicate yourself to God with all your strength. Turn to Him. Prioritize Him. Have eyes for Him. Enough about running back and forth. Honor God. And you will see what He will do in your life. Honor God. Honor God. You know, give everything. Being the one year Bible reading program, have your dream board made, look at it, make declarations every day, don't be in a hurry to leave His presence, cooperate, do yourself your part, and you will see what God will do for you. Get up. Impact your family. Invite people. Throw yourself in this time that I call sabbatical time. You know, it's the beginning. This is so strong. It's in the beginning. Sunday to anyone. This date for me is, is, is special. It's Moose's birthday. It couldn't be in a better day. What an amazing thing. Because Moo, everything God made in my son's life, it's a memorial for me. So I believe that the God who restored many things, you know, in my life, in my son's life, who has been doing such incredible things, will do in the lives of all who bow down before Him. I haven't doubt about it. I'm sure about it. So, Sunday, we kick off with my Conquest Projects for 2024, the year of Joshua's anointing. We will celebrate the first communion of 2024. We will do our first fast of my Conquest Projects for 2024. It's going to be an extraordinary day, a glorious day. I know that what God promised us, you only have to read the book of Joshua. And I hope you have already read it. You see that they lived the glory of God in impossible situations. It was a time of conquests in that year. They already ate from the novelties of the land. They faced and conquered and conquered and conquered. And there were many conquests. They conquered the land. They lived the promise of a lifetime. That's why I have been emphasizing, insisting. I don't want you to be out of this. I want you to understand that God comes first. That he has to be at the center. No, don't, please, don't be a lukewarm. Don't cool down. One of the signs of the end of the time is cooling down. Don't accept being part of the group. That God is not the priority. So depend on him. Seek him with all your strength and then impact people and He will pour out into your life. You will have the best year of your life. You will leave promises of a lifetime. You will have great challenges but greater victories. They faced giants but they defeated them all. The challenges weren't small, but the victories were great. How will I have victory if I don't fight? 
there's no there's no peace without war there's no victory without challenges there isn't get up with enthusiasm get excited in 2024 i want you excited i want you in a new lifestyle you know focused on god prioritizing god pouring out your life day after day in his presence Provide conditions in Jesus' name, I ask you. Align yourself with God. Cooperate with God. Provide conditions for God to do in your life. Because you can be sure, impenetrable, impassable walls will crumble. Look. Now the gates of Jericho were securely bared because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. I want you to start this purpose. Focused on this word, everything was closed. Why? Because of Israel. They were afraid of Israel. The enemy knows. They know that God is with us and that the victory is ours. And barriers that seems like they won't crumble, they have already crumbled because the Lord has already delivered. I believe that in the spiritual realm, God has already delivered us this year he put everything in our hands in yours in our i believe with all my heart that even if situations are closed yet god has already given it to us it's in impressive how he says it's written, the word makes a point of emphasizing Jericho were securely buried, but the Lord arrived and said, I have already, I have already given it. Isn't that powerful? Because sometimes you can look at something that is closed, it's stuck, but the Lord is saying, I have already. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. Are you seeing that during six days, once a day, on the seventh day, it would demand more, it would require more. They had to take seven laps. Seven laps. And trusting. Look, I say to you, there are things that God commands us to do that when He commands, it doesn't make sense. But later, when you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpet, because until now, I want you to make silence. Look, have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark on the seventh day. Let's leave it for the seventh. March around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast, on the trumpets, have the whole arm give a loud shout, then the wall of the city will collapse and the arm will go up, everyone straight in. My God! The Lord said, I have already given it. It's time to take laps. You will do this way, this way. 
you'll carry trumpets, seven priests, on the seventh day, seven laps. And I want a long blast. And when they finish, I want the shout. And you'll see the wall falling down. This was the faith shout. This is powerful, isn't it? Does it impact to you? It impacts me a lot because I know that this God didn't change. I know the faithfulness of my Lord and He didn't change. Believe in Him. God, He didn't change. His faithfulness is eternal. So Joshua, son of Nun, called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. And he ordered the army, Advance, march around the city with an armed guard going ahead of the Ark of the Lord. What did they have to do? March. Advance. Against what? Against something that was closed, but God said, I have already given it. Hey, God is sending you a message. Advance. March. Bishop, it's everything closed. Advance. March. Because God has already given you this victory. And he ordered the army, advance, march around the city with an armed guard going ahead of the Ark of the Lord. When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward. Are you seeing that they were fast to obey? There are people who ask, why doesn't it happen in my life? Because maybe you don't take it seriously. You don't strictly obey clear and simple directions. When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward, blowing their trumpets, and the Ark of the Lord's Covenant followed them. The armed guard marched ahead of the priests, who blew the trumpets, and the rear guard followed the ark. All this time, the trumpets were sounding. All this time, the trumpets were sounding. What is this sound? A victory. I can imagine the people of Jericho trembling at each trumpet sound. The enemy were trembling with the trumpet sound of victory. But Joshua had commanded the army, don't give a war cry. Don't raise your voices. Don't say a word until the day I tell you to shout. Then shout. Now it's just the trumpet. Otherwise, it's just keeping quiet. You will keep it for the last day, for the right moment. So he had the ark of the Lord carried around the city. My God, do you know why I get emotional when talking about the ark of God? Because it was the presence of God there surrounding, surrounding and showing it's over. When I deliver something, it's over. When I deliver a word, it's delivered. When I promise, it's promised. When they were marching with the ark around the city, the presence of the Lord took that place and possessed all of that. So he had the ark of the Lord carried around the city circling it once. Then the army returned to camp and spent the night there. Joshua got up early the next morning and the priests took up the Ark of the Lord. 
The seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward, marching before the Ark of the Lord and blowing the trumpets. The armed men went ahead of them and the rear guard followed the Ark of the Lord while the trumpets kept sounding. Don't stop blowing the trumpets. Don't stop declaring, prophesying, proclaiming your victories because the Lord has already delivered. So on the second day, they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. Blowing the trumpet, doing what God commanded them to do for six days and I believe that each fast each cry out will be the finer it will lead to a higher level and a higher level don't stop blowing the trumpet until you see everything on the ground because on the seventh day they got up at daybreak very early and marched around the city seven times in the same manner. Are you seeing? Look the discipline. Every day early. You don't see here people who once did and one day didn't. One day was there and the other wasn't. No, no. You don't see oscillation. You see a focused people of very committed people, determined people, a disciplined people, people who rule, and obedient people. And that's why you see the results. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except that on that day, they circled the city seven times. The seventh time around, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout! For the Lord has given you the city! Whoa! Oh my God! What a strong thing! Shout! For the Lord has given you the city! And what did happen? That fall went to the ground. And God did a work. And it was such a great work. But why? Because they believed. Because they have been in this process. That everything that God commanded to do, get ready. Raise a memorial. Circumcise yourselves. Everything that God commanded them to do, Take off the sandals, Joshua. Chain this. March around the city in silence, just blowing the trumpet. Shout! Everything the Lord commanded. You see discipline. You see order. You see determination. You see the glory. It's glory. What God has for you is glory. It's a new time, a new anointing. Hey, he promised us and he's faithful to fulfill promises of a lifetime. It's time for us to leave. So in Jesus' name, what depends on you, throw yourself with all your strength. Do it. Don't let anything slip by. Do it. Cooperate with God because you will see His glory. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. You will see impenetrable, impassable walls falling forever. Impossible conquests. You will achieve, you will possess, you will live impossible conquests. Be sure that in this year, you will live things that until then, many have not lived. Because Jericho was the oldest city, because it has not been conquered. But the time had come. And God delivered for His people. God will deliver for His people. Believe.
with all your heart. Get ready. Sunday! My Conquest Projects for 2024. Year of Joshua's Anointing. Wonderful. If you believe, desire, and want to pray with me, prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor, meu Deus, e Lord, my God and my Father, I pray for every dear life that is with me. And I ask and may this word have touched every heart, uplifted, inspired, bring joy, filled them with hope. Oh, Lord, I pray for a people filled with faith, hope, a courageous people, dedicated people, I pray, my God, so that your people may be awakened to honor you, put you in your place, to cooperate, to do everything we have to do. Because when we obey these simple orders, we submit ourselves, we honor you, we give priority to you. And you can pour out in our lives. And you, Lord, want to pour out. You want to fulfill. You want, Lord, to show your power, your powerful hand. Everything we have to do is to believe and walk surrendered to you, Lord. May they believe, take possession, because it's time for them to believe. Dreams of a lifetime, promises of a lifetime. A totally new time. It's a new cycle, new season. It's time to enter in our promised land. Bless homes, families, all that send their prayer requests. I consecrate everything and I take possession of this renewal, of this awakening for this new time, Lord. I bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, give abundance, abundant minds. May this year they prosper great and powerfully. I will see people undertaking, growing, prospering, reaching high levels, living your glory as never before. I bless and I ask you to raise more sowers because we need them. And wherever this program is reaching, may I leave a people clothed in power, confident, determined, people possessed by you, Lord, for this word. People who raise with courage, people who get up with courage, boldness. And as it is written, advance, march in faith, march in faith, march, advance for situations that seems that are impossible. But you said, I have already given you, I have already delivered it. Trust in me, take hold of it, because I have already delivered. Thank you so much. I ask for your blessing. I give you my blessing. I praise you for everything. And I thank you a lot, Lord. Thank you so much for everything. Praise be your name. You are a very good God. We love you. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank God. Amen. The Life Helpline phone number is 5511-3296-9449. We are located at 995 Taquari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are. Today, the best of the land, Eliakim service. If you are willing and obedient, you will read the good things of the land. Eliakim, the one who God raised, who raises God and who sustains God. Be among us Sunday, the beginning of my conquest projects for 2024, year of Joshua's anointing. First fast of my conquest projects. First communion of 2024, it will be a glorious day. Count on us, be among us. It's a pleasure to serve. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. Amen.